Okay, a continuous variable transmission, or CVT, is a gear ratio change device using a pulley system with two wheels and one metal chain belt. These are variable diameter pulleys. They keep the engine within the optimal range. There's no shift change feel when you're driving. Now, you have your engine, your crankshaft is turning, the engine's power is being transmitted to the crankshaft, and you have the primary, the CVT in this version, it consists of a primary, primary clutch, and a primary clutch, here's the belt, and then a secondary clutch, which is hooked to your transmission. Now that was a side view. Here is another view of the belt and your primary, your primary clutch and your secondary clutch. Now, as you drive and you press on the accelerator, there are different mechanisms, different kind of CVTs with that which make this happen. I will go over like the oil, the, the hydraulic version, the hydraulic pressure from an oil pump, it pushes, as I can show you, it pushes the primary clutch inward, which makes the belt, which makes the ratios between the primary and secondary clutches change. Like you have a smaller circle and then a bigger circle, and they change. In this overview, you have your input shaft, which is at the top, and this is where your input shaft is, uh, it comes from your torque converter, and your torque converter is from your engine, so engine, torque converter, input shaft. It goes down to the reverse clutch, which the belt, it makes the belt go, go backwards. When this is not moving, when the reverse clutch is not moving, the crankshaft turns and the, this thing turns backwards. When the forward clutch is engaged, it sandwiches onto the thing. Here's the belt. It sandwiches onto and turns everything. Now the steel belt is the weakest point in all of this. A steel belt can break over time. This, the forward clutch, drives the driven pulley on this side, which goes out to the output to the transmission. And there's a gear here which propels the tires. Continuously varying the gear ratio as the belt, as the, um, the clutches change their gear ratio, the belt gets bigger on one side and the other side smaller, or the smaller, bigger on this side and smaller on the other side as, it move, as the primary moves in and out as you drive and it makes your RPMs continuous. When you first start out, you have a 2.6 to 1 gear ratio, and it can go all the way to overdrive, which is a 0.4 to 1 ratio. CVTs, continuous variable transmissions, are used in tractors, aircraft since the, since the 1950s, snowmobiles, motor scooters, drill presses, milling machines, combine hardware. Leonardo da Vinci first conceptualized the CVT in 1490. The benefits of having a continuous variable transmission, it's lightweight, compact, cost effective, there's low maintenance, it shifts on the fly, it's a quieter operation. And the downside is it's, it usually uses a steel belt and the steel belt doesn't last that long sometimes. There are many types of CVTs, variable diameter pulley, toroidal, magnetic, which is fairly new, infinitely variable, uh, ratcheting, hydrostatic, and a naughty incremental. You can look that up. Some continuous variable transmissions have what you call a movable sheave. A sheave is basically basically a pulley. That's another word for a pulley. You have the stationary sheave and then you have the movable sheave. And the movable sheave is the one that moves back and forth 
and there's usually like a fly weight involved and as you drive and the torsion effects it'll move it'll move your um and it'll move them closer together which it'll move them closer together which makes the belt have a ratio shift to the other belt the fly weights pivot outward in response to centrifugal force and or hydraulic pressure from the oil pump in the transmission there's various different ways even a magnetic one magnet magnets are cool and it's really cool that they are that science has put this into action people have actually put use magnets to do this operation just look that up it's pretty so in conclusion if you want to drive a continuous variable transmission and want to feel the smoothness the smoothness of the operation of the gear shifting without that jerking motion or whatever or you can hear it or feel it if you want that continuous raw energy of just smoothly driving then a CVT is for you and the technology is getting better and better you know the first one that came out it was okay and the next generation is even better you know it just keeps getting better and better improvements over improvements over improvements and this continuous variable transmissions <laughs> are pretty cool thank you